I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 15th and 16th for my Pisces. Hello my Pisces. Warm hugs and love to you all. Okay, this is the short reading because I have the long readings already posted for the 16th through the 30th, so please take a look. This is the short reading, so I just use my Dorian Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy, and this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like. Okay, leave the rest. Now, let's keep going. Um, okay, sure. A couple of cards popping already for me. Um, you know, I told you that we have the long, okay, long readings up. Wow, these cards, they, there's a lot of cards that want to come out, but they haven't really popped yet. Let's see what's, okay. Okay, you want to be read. You want to be read. <laughs> I love this when this happens. I have to kind of move things around. Oh my gosh! So we have. I'm not. I'm not saying oh my gosh about how, you know, how many cards there are. Five cards want to be read for you. My oh my gosh is that they are all reversed. So that means a strong, strong message. Okay. So please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And there's a little bell if you want to be notified about my many videos. Thank you. Okay, so let's go on. These are all reverse. So to me, very strong message. Or it says, hey, it's so much it says, hey, pay attention to me, Pisces. First card, this one, all of them are face down except for one. I'll tell you which one that is. So here we have our first one, which is the Knight of Fire. Really weird energy because I think that, um, you know, you're, you know, there. this has been coming up a lot for a lot of the astrological signs, but let's see how this is going to affect you right now. This is passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. Well, if you haven't, you know, for in the United States, if you haven't filed your taxes, you need to get them done. Um, you know, so that is one thing that's kind of that type of energy with this. However, I'm kind of thinking that there's going to be some decision making coming. And it could be about a future event. It, it, but let's, let's just keep going on and seeing what else we have. This is the one, case, one card that did pop up, so we can see this one. The Knight of Water. Now, this is your energy. And it's funny that we have these two knights together. So this is emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative, falling in love, or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. So for my single Pisces, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling activation. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling activation, and this could be in, you know, in your love life. I'm feeling, you know, like maybe somebody's come into your life and you're kind of like, I really didn't expect this now. It could be also for people that aren't single. It could be like this resurgence. It's like all of a sudden you're saying, wow. My significant other's been really sweet to me. I wonder what's up with that. <laughs> but at the same time, you just go, I like this. I love it. I love this energy. You know, and that's how you are. You're like, I'm not going to think too much about it. I'm going to just enjoy it for the moment. Because when I say that, I'm not saying, because Pisces, you're deep thinkers. You are such deep thinkers. But in this moment, you're like, you know, you're probably one of the signs that knows how to live in the moment. And in this, it's like, I'm living in this moment. It's a good moment. I woke up feeling good. I'm feeling healthy. I'm feeling in love. I'm, I'm living in this moment. And I think that that's wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful for you. Okay, so the next card, again, these are all reversed, is the King of Earth. So again, we have this royal court. So we have an earth being our Taurus, our Capricorn, and our um, Virgo. It's our money. It's our home. So this one is generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch. So again, I mean, I, you know, we see a theme here. Now, I want to let you know, I'm an intuitive channeler. And I will then, you know, as this message comes and I give this out, but I share the cards and tell you exactly what it is because you are also very intuitive because you, you wouldn't be here if you weren't, if you didn't have a little belief in a, something outside of yourself. So you may be even saying, you know, you know, you may be even saying, hey, Deb, I can appreciate your words, and I hope you do, but 
But I'm getting, I'm picking up another message. And that is fine. That is fine. Okay. I want you to know that because I think, you know, I, I've said, I do say this periodically to, to all the, to ever, to the other astrological signs, but I think that it's something that you need to, for you today, for this reading, somebody needs to know. And they might actually be having kind of a question that they need answered. And in this, this answers it. Okay. So, uh, um, again, I do feel it's like, so maybe let's put the example out there. Maybe you're filing your taxes and you don't have to pay as much as you thought. So that's more money for you or you're filing your taxes and more money come, you know, you're like, wow, I didn't know I was getting a refund. You know, it, it's that type of energy. It's really positive, good energy. It'd be a good time for you to go look for employment. It'd be a good time to go talk to the boss about possibly giving you a raise. It's that type. It, it might, and it's a good time to possibly go and look. I'm not telling you to do this, but it's a good time to possibly talk to that significant other about, you know, taking things to the next step, um, giving them a key, buying a ring, um, asking them to come meet your parents, you know, that type of stuff. It's a, that's, this is that type of energy, Monday and Tuesday. Now, I will suggest or recommend, I don't want you to necessarily become stalkery for your, if it is a significant other, but if this is one of the things I'm thinking about taking it to the next step, you may want to go and watch the video about their sign. I'm not going to tell you to keep doing that, okay, but you might to see whether they'd be receptive to it. Okay, so our next card is the Emperor, Archangel Michael, the protector, the warrior, the one that will go in there. And I'm sorry, I'm, I, I don't want to, um, you know, I'm not going to use the whole word, but this is coming. It's like, this is the one takes the sword and cuts through the BS, just cuts through the BS. It just gets down right to the facts of the matter. This is that type of energy. This is organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. Now, for my Pisces, though, sometimes, you know, you are a romantic. You are a very kind-hearted soul. So, you know, sometimes you have to take yourself a little bit out of that. It's almost like, you know, and again, I'm not saying, you know, that this is who you, this is your situation. But it's almost like a parent who friend, befriends the, his, their, his or her children and doesn't necessarily parent them, okay? It's like, you know, it's it's like you need to make sure that you are being the parent of the children and not their friends. I'm not saying that this is how you handle your parenting, not at all. I just want to use that as this type of energy for you, okay? Especially since you've got five cards that popped down. This last card, again, this is reversed and it is face down also. We have the High Priestess, Archangel Heniel. So, this one is listen to your intuition, but have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. All of these cards are very positive. You do have very strong um, knowledge of right and wrong. Um, I'm going to, you know, and I don't know what this is, but don't compromise on that, okay? If you know what's right, do not compromise I, I, and again, all the but I can keep saying is this card is telling me to tell you not to compromise. Okay. I love this energy for you. I don't even know how to wrap this up. There's so much going on. It's a gr it's great energy. So, my Pisces, as always, know that you are loved, and be blessed. Bye bye.